a white man comes in the United States and claims he wants to build churches, right? Runs into Native Americans, rapes the women in the name of the Lord, gives them diseases, takes over the United States, and then runs into Mexicans, takes their land, takes their land. There they are right there. They take their land and then they put a border, a nice little border right here. And then a Mexican enters the United States and we don't call them pilgrims. We call them wetbacks. We call them illegals. We call them undocumented people. All right, you see that? Hey, <laughs> oh boy, first and foremost, giving all praise, honor and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone of whom I learn from daily, okay? And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Now, you know, let me make sure I'm on here. Yeah, it's recording. Please excuse my voice. You know, hey, but she's right. She's right, you know. And, and, and you never know. That could be an Israelite right there, man. Israelite, if you will. Uh, these devils, man, they do all kinds of different things. And then they had, they got the nerve to call uh, the northern kingdom an uh, immigrant, an uh, illegal alien. You know? And see, that's and, and that's what a whole lot of these, well, none of these uh, the Christianity talks about. They don't they don't never go into, you know, the, the atrocities and the things that they have done all under the uh, uh, all under Christianity. Right. You know, under the banner of Christianity, rape, rob and murder still yet to this day. Right. Let's go here. Micah two, verse one. I'm not going to make this long either. You know, it is what it is. All kinds of things. Neuralink. New brain. Uh, uh, microchips, if you will. All kinds of different things. They're uh, 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 robots. Coming to kill Jake. All right. You better seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Because they're getting ready to come in like a flood. And when Yahweh Bashim Yahashah says, make sure your, your, uh, your uh, tongue cling to the roof of your mouth. You know, as pursuant into the prophets, speaking his word, then that's that. Woe to th this is, you know, come on, man. You know, but the scripture said, my sheep hear my voice. And without any further ado, stop rambling and get to the scriptures. Micah 2 and verse 1. Woe to them that device iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand given to them. On the left hand side from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the hammer of the earth, right? I think I got that pulled up too. Verse 2 And they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. You see that? You see? What do they do? What do they do here in Astroth? Huh? Here in Babylon. They did just that right there, didn't they? See that? Yeah, I had this pulled up before. Look at here. And all kinds of different things they got coming down the pipe. Just for you, Jake. Norlink brain chip. Plants uh, help the blind to see and the paralyzed to walk. Isn't that, isn't that a miracle? Hmm? Okay. Revelation 12 and verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven... Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his Hamashiach Yahweh for the accuser of, for, of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. Now, <coughs> Salakia, I'm getting a little bit better. I sound a little bit better and stronger. All praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for that, you know? Endure your afflictions. Whatever come upon you, take it cheerfully. Okay? Right, but uh, watching uh, the elder of uh, Manat Nazakba's video that he did yesterday, uh, on a uh, vocab and that other demon 
You know, they're scared, but they're doing what? They accuse, they accuse us. They say, you do this. They say, you do that. They say, uh, 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 Mexicans are rapists. They're bringing in all the drugs. You know? When I got something else to show you, too. You know? And it's, it's very interesting. Uh, Elder Malcolm has sent it to me. Okay? But they accuse us day and night of things that we're really not doing. I mean, you know, hey, some jakes do that kind of thing, man. But when it really comes down to it, where's all the where 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 all the guns come from? Where all the drugs come from? Why do you think they went into Afghanistan amongst other things? All those poppies, all those poppies over there. What does that make? Huh? It makes opioids, man. Okay, it's a simple concept. All you gotta do is just do a little research. You'll see it. Isaiah twenty six and verse ten. Let favor be shown to the wicked. Yet he will not learn righteousness. You can't make something straight that's crooked. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and will and will not behold the majesty of the Lord Yahweh. Okay? Even though you try to, I'm going to give you an analogy. If you wreck your vehicle, you know, a car, a truck, or whatnot, or whatever, they have these uh, machines called uh, uh, frame correctors or frame stretchers. But when, but if, but if your vehicle gets totaled, it's totaled. You know what that means? Then you have, if you want ever want to resell it, or the uh, insurance company wants to resell it, it has to be a salvage title. You can't, you can't make it one hundred percent straight and true again, because it has been corrupted and crooked. Okay, just an analogy. I try to keep these lessons just a little bit different from time to time. And hopefully it's edifying, man. Just to show you how how just completely and utter, utterly wicked these Edomites are, man. They are. And if you can't see it, then maybe this is not for you. Okay? Don't get offended. This is Proverbs 4, verse 16. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief. You know, except they what have done mischief and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. And they got the nerve to build a wall and say, this is our land. This is, you know, this is this is our land now. And you got to you, you got to pay to come in. You can't come in, but the other people can come in. They can do this. They can see this is Babylon, man. The earth is given it to the hand of the wicked. Job 9 verse 24. Now that being read right there. I'm going to take you to this video. Check this out. A man is in jail on a murder charge accused of killing the mother of his toddler when she was trying to go to work. Carrollton police say Andrew Charles Beard shot Alyssa Burkett in the head and stabbed her multiple times. Witnesses to last week's murder described the attacker as a black man. Well, police found evidence of a fake beard and makeup the suspect may have used as a disguise. Fox Forest Davidson Tendi spoke with Burkett's family as they prepare now for her funeral in Rockwall. David. Yeah, Heather, and Beard's bond is set at $1 million. He is currently in the Dallas County Jail charged with murder, and police say it's very clear that... Andrew Charles Beard, the child's father. Pretty early on, it was clear to our detectives this was someone who was hunting her someone who knew where she was going to be and someone who wanted her dead. According to the arrest affidavit, witnesses told police that as Burkett pulled up to work, a man exited a black truck, approached Burkett's car and fired a gun. She was shot in the head and then stabbed multiple times. This was personal. Burkett's family told investigators that Beard and their daughter were in a contentious child custody battle. In fact, back in September, Burkett created to pieces the suspect as a black male, while detectives searching the vehicle also found the suspect's home. They recovered a dark colored hair with what appeared to be dried blood on it. But two witnesses described the suspect as a black male, while detectives searching the vehicle also found a dark colored prosthetic beard with what appeared to be brown makeup stains on it. Inside his home, they found two bottles of dark brown liquid foundation makeup, along with partially burned makeup wipes with brown residue on them. It's possible the suspect tried to appear African-American. We did have 
Hmm, interesting, right? You see that? Very, very interesting. You know, hey, come to find out, they've probably been doing this for the longest time. There's a bunch of videos, uh, and a, a bunch of brothers have said this now. You know, how about some y'all shots open their eyes and see certain things that this devil's done, man? He's very crafty. Okay? Now, did you see, you see what that devil was doing? He's trying to blame it on a so-called black man, right? Because none of us are black. We all know that already. Okay? Several witnesses describe the assailant, as they call them, <laughs> the criminal, the murderer, as a so-called black man. And he probably would have gotten away with it, you know, if uh, you know, if he hadn't been caught in that manner. I just thought that was very interesting. So like it. Proverbs 14 and verse 29. He that is slow to wrath is of great understanding, but he that is hasty of spirit exalteth folly. A sound heart, verse 30, slug you. A sound heart is the life of the flesh, which is your mind. Sound. All right. Not unstable. Not having a false balance. You know, understanding. And a lot and a lot of people, man, a lot of you Israelites, a lot of you two thirds, or all you two thirds, but a lot of you Israelites, man, are just not quite understanding what's going on. You know, you don't want to take this great gift that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai has given us and run with it. You see, you don't want to take it. You don't you don't want to hear it from your own people, but you'll hear anything else anywhere else. It is what it is. <laughs> Verse 30, a sound heart is the life of the flesh. But envy, but envy the rottenness of the bones. You see that? He that oppressed the poor reproacheth his maker. But he that honoreth him mercy on earth. The poor, the wicked is driven away in his wickedness, but the righteous have hope in his death. You see that? Let's read that again. Verse 32, the wicked is driven away in his wickedness, but the righteous have hope in his death. That's a beautiful thing right there. Let's continue on. Romans 12 and verse 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Okay? He's going to repay. But when that new Jerusalem comes down, that's why he said, by the hands of my people. And these are very comforting scriptures. You see? You see why everybody else on this planet, except for except for his men, sign a crying in the streets, and you are uh, 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 Aquaf, you know, and you Aquaf that's uh, that's sitting back and and listening in all faith and sincerity. These scriptures are comforting to us, okay? But all the rest of these people, the uh, Christianity, they're not looking for a new kingdom. They love it here. You know why? Because it's because it's it's, it's their rest, because it's their kingdom. You've been deceived by the damn devil. Let's read that again. Romans 12 and verse 19. We want this place to burn. If you're if you coming in any kind of other spirit, then you're wrong. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai said, I will utterly burn this place. He said, I will leave them neither root nor branch. It's, it's, it's his pleasure to get rid of uh, Babylon and other places amongst this earth. So the kingdom could come. See that? Romans 12, verse 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but give, but rather give place unto, unto wrath, for it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. You see that? See? Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. You see that? You see that? Be not overcome of evil, as, as the elder says, evil, but overcome evil with good, man. And, and what's that good? What is that good, acceptable thing that we present our bodies a living sacrifice? Uh, uh, instant, in season, out of season. Exhort one another daily. Love thy brother as if you love your own self. See? You see that right there? Let's go. Let's go. 
2 Corinthians 10 and verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. You see? And that's what Esau really wants, man. They'll send people up to you and, uh, and all kinds of different things. Uh, uh, people on your comment boards and they try to get you to do this and do that. Try to get you to go off. But a, man, a true man of the Lord is going to stick with his guns. All right. And that being said, our weapons of warfare are not carnal. Let's read it. Verse four, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds, man. You see, and then one of the main strongholds is what? Christianity. And it's really just white supremacy is what it is. Edomite supremacy, that's what it is, exactly what it is. Okay, let's keep going. Verse five, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the most high and bringing into captivity every, every, uh, uh, every Salakia and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach Yahavashai. See that? And having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Okay? Pulling down the strongholds, man. This is what's happening right now. Why you think they're getting all kinds of upset? Why you think the likes of uh, well, I don't I forget what that dude's name is. was it James White? It was one of them, one of them Edomites. You know the uh, the the elders just did videos on just the other day, man. Talking about uh, that's why I read the accuser of the brethren. Talking about uh, the, going straight into uh, what was that that market uh, a shooting in New Jersey? They had nothing to do with with no Hebrew Israelite I know. You know. They try to lump us all together in one little lump. Why? So they can accuse us. So they can uh, uh, justify the things that they're getting ready to do. The scripture did say the devil have but a short time. That's why he going to come in like a damn flood. You see that? Bring it on. Let's go. Let's go. Ephesians 6 verse 11. Put on the whole armor of the most high. That ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Esau eat them, right? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the uh, of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, man. It's a spiritual battle. It's a spiritual battle. See that? Wherefore take Unto you, the whole armor of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Yahweh Salakia, all right, that ye may be able to withstand in the in the day in the evil day, and having done all to stand, tell you that's why they're getting afraid because they can't they can't continue to do the things that they used to do. See, that left-handed angel's leaving them high and dry now. The scripture says, stand now without enchantments, right? Let's go here. First Peter five, verse eight, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Okay. And it's, and it's so, and it, that's just try to keep you asleep. Keep it. They try to keep you knocked out. You know? But this, hey, what does scripture say? If they could deceive the very elect, I'm not saying I'm a part of the elect, but Yahweh right does I'm a part of that number. Creatures of hope, man, we all want to be a part of that number. The men that are signing and crying in, in, uh, for the abominations in the midst thereof. And I know that. I know that. Okay? Hey, the just shall live by faith, man. Faith. Revelation 18, verse 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it <coughs> so lucky and cast it into the sea saying thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all with what does with violence see but what hey, Christianity and every and and your, and your and your mama and your grandmama and your grandpappy see that dad whoever God is love. 
they're not pre they're not preaching the love that is, is you think everything's gonna be cupcakes you know uh, uh cotton candy and it, it, everything's gonna be just fine you mean to tell me all this garbage and all these you know i'm trying to you know work on my uh, language also all these things all this evil wickedness that the damn devil has done upon this earth Esau eat them you you never even thought about that he's just gonna get he's gonna skate away with it and yet to, and yet to this day we are in our captivity and he lets you know every time he gets a chance that he is the devil and he hates you it's 1044 call hello yahweh shai Okay, and he and he hates you, man, and he shows you. He shows you. You know. That's why he's gonna destroy this place in the voice of the harpers, <coughs> Salaki, and music musicians. <laughs> I have trouble with that from time to time, and pipers, and trumpers, shall be heard no more at all in thee, and no craftsman or uh, whatsoever craft he be shall be found. Any more in thee, and the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee. This place is going to be a desert land, lake of fire. Burn it up, okay? I'll close out right here. This is Psalm 17 and verse 8. Unbelievable. You saw that, you know. Now they uh, now they are uh, wearing they're still wearing doing blackface, but they're doing it to murder people. Unbelievable. But not really, man. Hey, this this is the devil the Bible speaks of. You can't take nothing away from that. He's the hammer of the earth, right? Psalms 17 and verse 8. Keep me as the apple of the eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. I had a vision about that. When it was volleys of eight, uh, icy beams, boom, 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 boom. And I felt the heat and I was scared for a little while till I realized, yeah, how I had me up under his wings. Verse nine, for the wicked that oppress me from my deadly enemies who can pass me about. See that? What does scripture say? Never trust thy enemy. And if you find adversity, you will find him there first. They are enclosed in their own fat. With their mouth, they speak proudly. Verse 11, they have known, they have uh, known, uh, compassed us in our, in our steps. They have now, Salakio, wow. They have now compassed us in our steps. They have set their eyes bowing down to the earth. Like as a lion that is greedy of his prey, and it were a young lion lurking in secret places. See that? Pulling down the strongholds, man. But they, they, what, what do they do? They seek our steps. Arise, O Yahweh, uh, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. You see that right there? All right. Now, let's keep on reading. Verse 14. For men... Which are, which are, they, uh, read it right. From men which are thy hand, O Yahweh. <laughs> From men of the world which have their portion in this life. See, this is their kingdom, all right? And whose belly thou fillest with thy, with thy hid treasure. Thy are full of children, and they leave the rest of their substance to their babes. You see that? And of course they do. What, what, is, what does the first scripture say? They covet fields and take them by violence. And they just they just keep everything. Go to Obadiah. It talks about would they leave some grapes? <laughs> Apparently not. It's lucky. <clears throat> Verse 15. As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be set. Uh, I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. That's beautiful. That's comforting. Let's go. All praise to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Every chance you get, chant this place down. 
DTA and Kwame Yasharala. Wa abai ba Boom. Shalom.